Once again. Yes, first of all, I just want to take a moment to say that this is the 10th episode and we're closing out with Trevor Holmes and I am so happy about that because he's an amazing artist, a singer, a songwriter, a producer, so he does so much and he's about to talk about that so I don't want to like yes. do this introduction from him but I'm just very happy because we're closing out with a wonderful person, a wonderful soul and we're gonna, we're, we're, you've got to stay tuned for next season, season two, it's gonna be crazy, um, we're closing out once again with some is fabulous so Thank I'm so excited much. about that so let, let, let's get this happen so she called me fabulous and all that. Thank everything you. Yes. thank you thank you <laughs> yeah. that's how they do it yeah yeah <laughs> But yeah thank you for having me so so thank you so uh you know thank you for finding me and vibing with me and just thinking I was amazing because I really work hard to do this man and I'm glad that you guys seen that and see my work and yeah. I'm happy I'm happy I mean, to be here we see it in your quality of visuals as well and just how you even introduce yourself um, how you how you are so yeah. you definitely start quality I don't even know that kind of sounds weird but just no, no I, like, yeah, I can't wait I can't yeah. wait I can't wait I love how she said it start quality man um like I do this just I did this as for fun. Now I'm doing it seriously and it's like now it's more fun that it's serious for real. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know when you used to walk into your passion, you're just serious now. So how did you walk into your passion? Yo, I started off growing up singing and thinking it was cool and um, you know, people were like, Oh, you can't I mean uh, you you know you you yeah. you're from they were scared of they scared their fear they would place their fears on you they're like oh you might not make it things like that. I'm like I'm not even thinking about that I just like singing and then all of a sudden like it's really started speeding up getting more shows I started making beats and you know so it's just it's really working for me so just I, I started loving it and loving it growing into it and loving it and now man it's just a lifestyle wow. people ask me what I'm doing after work I'm like I'm studio. Uh, um, networking. And is that every day? No, studio, studios, a studio is definitely an everyday thing, and you, it's never planned. Most times, it's like, oh, got an idea, I want to, I want to do it. Um, and that's usually but, how your ideas yeah. come with the songs. Yeah, I come up with it, and I just go on my notepad, or or just put in a mental note. Or have my friend, yo, text me what I said at work. Uh, oh, yo, yeah, or my boy, like, yo, text me a number because I remember what I said, and tell me what I said. You know, just it, it's it's so many. It's so many inspirations throughout the day. Oh, like, I might make a song real. about buns. Like, cause you got the buns right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> got the twist, right? You never know. You know? Um, and uh, I feel like the passion comes from just having fun. If you once yeah. you start having fun with it, you can't be passionate about it no more. Yeah, and you know you love it. You love it. You know so I just want to do this till I can't ever. Till you can't, can't ever. Move. Yeah. How, what, so when you start writing your songs, yes. you said you start, it, it could be happening wherever. Yes. It could be anywhere. What do you usually write about, though? I write about what? things, um, mostly what's around me. Mm -hmm. What's around me? I like. I don't. I'm not the dude that's gonna have a money counter throwing. You got hoes <laughs> twerking, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I, I wish. Oh my twerking. god! So <laughs> wish I had some hoes twerking, but no. Uh, but I write what's around me, like relationships, friendships. Uh, you know. Uh, day to day problems like people hating people loving people uh just insecurities uh boyfriend girlfriends uh anything man just the grind the grind is the biggest right. thing like right now we all probably grinding y'all at home probably yeah, grinding definitely. there's artists out there creatives out here that probably struggle with wanting to keep doing it because what you know, stuff's not moving as fast as they like. Yeah. And I write songs about that, too, so... And have you... Talking about, like, not being where you want to be and, like, being there, right? Like, yeah. do you feel like you, you know, have you 
past that, or um, are you? I feel like because when I started, there wasn't a goal. There, there wasn't, wasn't a goal. A goal. So, okay, I feel so like yeah. goal, I'm not gonna say goals aren't important. Goals are very important. Um, sometimes they limit you, though. You know what I mean? But I still set them and usually go past them. So my goal was to. Make it on TV one day, and I'm on TV. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you never just know. Like that. Um, and then uh, my uh, other goals are like, you know, I just want to put out quality music, and then like, you know, make money off it to feed the family, to feed mm. the family, feed, uh, give back to the communities with it. Like, not just only music, just that music being, you. yeah, being a being a person that like people, like people that are dreaming, yeah. see, like I know that guy. I know him from Boston, taking the bus. I know him, and look at him now. Like I would love that to be me. Yeah. You know, like he followed his dream. That's gonna be you. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it, I'm working towards that because there's a lot of, what like artists are stronger than they have ever been now. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Chance the rapper just did a Grammy without a no gr- deal, nothing. Nothing. So everyone out here that's independent, like, they just got a battery in their back. Like, yeah, that, that was same just night. like a kick moti- of motivation, inspiration, <laughs> just to move forward yeah. and just be like, yo, really nothing can hold me back. And mm. money is definitely not one of those elements. Nah. Because if you have good talent, it's just going to come with it. My girl, see, she said it just like that. Talent and work ethic. like Work ethic. Yeah, because there's people that's We're talented. Work ethic, worth it. Yep. Yeah, people that's talented that won't do it because because they won't do the work that it takes also. Do the work, it, guys. I it's mean, the music, it's and it's a music like, business. So, Do you do a lot of work? Man. I don't know. You seem like a little flirt. Flirt? I don't know if you're doing a lot of work. I'm a flirt. It, <laughs> Girl, please. I just needed to call you out. Please. I need to call you, you out. Please. Zoom in, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but I'm just saying. Nah, I, lo- I love networking, and then yeah. myself gets... <clears throat> It gets definitely misconstrued for flirting or being friendly. <laughs> yeah. Or sometimes me just networking, you might have a girl or two like you in the have- inbox or something crazy I'm like, listen, I'm on my I'm on my music. If you if you wanna really help me with music, yeah. you can always be around. Like, you have a hard time after shows? Never. I would never I say mean, that. I mean, you look like Big Poppy, too. Let's put that <laughs> out there as well. Uh, I just hear you with all of this. Hey, Big That's Poppy. That... Big Poppy, you watching this, man. You know. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I love I love that aspect, too, sometimes. I'm from, I live in Boston, so yeah. if you kind of look like a baseball player out here, you ain't got to buy drinks. You good. You can go anywhere. I'm in Faneuil Hall. I'm downtown. Hey, then Big Poppy. Hey, hey. Yeah. Very good, you know. Very good, very good. Yeah, very soft. There's, you know, all that. Yeah, all that. Really but, sorry. but, and don't buy drinks, you know. <laughs> or I'm six five, and I walk in the place they think I just won the Super Bowl. They be like, hey, congratulations. I'm like, hey, yeah, buy me that drink. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I signed my real name. He's like, oh, you ain't nobody. And I was like, it's all good. Uh, but then hilarious. they find out I sing, and they're like, and like wow. you're big. Security twelve sandwich eating ass sing so <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you know and I, and I get a kick out of it and it's marketable yeah you know I went to school for marketing and, and management like nice. so this Where is you go to a I went to Fisher school? College right down Fisher? the road yep right down the road it's um on Beacon Street so I'm homegrown home fed nice. and um I went to school there and like I use those tools to like you know to into the music. Into the music, the music, pushing myself, and yeah, and then it, and it really kind of gets you to a point like, yo, co- yo, college is amazing, but some some people didn't need it. Some of the greatest minds on earth didn't even go to school, like no. Steve Jobs, like Bill Gates, they didn't finish school, you know, Jay Z, right? For real? We listening to him, he ain't even finished school, and <laughs> I like what he's saying. I love yeah. what he's teaching me. You know what I mean? So it's life, it's school experience, is, yes, it's common knowledge. Thank you. Somebody will get a job over you just because they got more experience. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's man. That. But that's writing, going into the writing that you asked me, like, anything can be experience. Any any experience can really trigger a song. Anything. <clears throat> like, I can walk, I can get on the bus, some girl smell like my ex's perfume. I'm like... You were about to say something else. My ex's perfume. What you think? <laughs> Look, yo, hold on. Continue. <laughs> Continue. Imagine you hug somebody, you smell like your ex's cologne. You be like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, and, and oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So he want to do that? You want to wear that cologne? You want to wear that? It's his fault, though. He just wore it. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Did you write a song like X-Tex? X-Tex. <laughs> 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 well, so, uh, the, so, 
songwriting, yeah, singing, producing, producing. Mm-hmm. How do how do you tie all of that at once and not get overwhelmed? Um, I mean, I know it might just come like as a flow, yeah. But you know, yeah, just know like the technical would, yeah. part of it, you know, you're just you made a beat, yeah. you enjoy the beat, you made a song to it. It might not go together, but you're trying to put it together. But then now you're trying to like reward, you know, change up the words. I mean, like I'm not sure, like. These are questions that yeah, I yeah, yeah. Would people even outside be looking in, like, people on the outside looking in will think stuff like that, right? Yeah. Okay, he's doing all this, he's doing all that. Yeah, it's like Future how do you... just dropped two mixtapes this week, right? And like, how did he do it? He's and he's huge, right? Yeah. And like, that's what he does. He got the sauce, so I got the sauce. I can do it all two three things. <laughs> <laughs> I can do all that. And still have time to do my to my regular life. I mean, I just think. Oh, and I'm market just, yourself. Yeah, so I'm just like, yeah. I just feel like I have that. I just have that much juice that I can oh, do that, I guess. Passion. Has and, there been uh, any times where you just. Yeah, definitely. Don't think don't think like, for a second there's a person out there. not working out. All the time. All the time. It happens all the time. And I'm one of them. I'm not going to say like I'm insecure, but I definitely think. I think like that sometimes. There's definitely doubt. And. But. You take the positive energy around you yeah. and block that out, out all of it, because once you stay in there, you're not gonna work. Yeah. You're not gonna, you know what I mean. But you gotta keep everything positive around you and just use that energy towards your passion. You know what I'm saying? Because this is all you got. Like all the yeah, money is it. material, whatever. But your body, your mind, your soul is all you got. And music is my yeah, soul for real. Soul. For real. So anyone has anyone ever told you they did not like your music? And if so, how do you react? Oh man, it's um I feel like everyone is everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Um if I don't like it, this times I don't like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like if I don't like it, that's the only time I don't like it. Do you not <laughs> like it after you hear it for a while a while? Like are you the type of artist that like, damn, I like it for like two weeks and then yeah. I'm just like, you know what? I'm kinda done. I, with I this. like that. Yo, or I, no, like I'm like that with other people's music to be real. Yeah. Like I'm like, damn, you playing this dude again on the radio. <laughs> but me, man, I like because I don't I have so much music mm-hmm. that you don't even know about that I'm listening to I read right now that you don't even know that you don't have. Mm-hmm. And then someone hit me like, yo, remember that song X Text? I'm like, dang, and I listen to it. So I like, I don't really get tired of my music because I have so much of it. Uh-huh. But uh, I, I can, I can see where you're going there. But like, I want to get to a point where I hate my music. That's because it's playing everywhere. <laughs> so I'm trying. I'm working till I hate my music. <laughs> so what's next? Are you? Do you have any traveling plans? Yeah, you... later on. Actually, tomorrow I'll I'll be in another city, Brockton. Oh yeah, just up to Brockton. Brockton. Yeah, Brockton's like mm-hmm. a town over from Boston. Um, Check them out. Where's yeah, that at? That's um that's gonna be uh ugh. man. Whoever's watching from Brockton, who's gonna be on that show? <laughs> please call in because I definitely <laughs> forgot <laughs> the name of the place. But it's like a showcase and uh, it's a thousand dollar grand prize. Forgot the name of that, and I feel bad right now because I look stupid right now. But it's no, cool. you do that. And then in Philly, I'll be at Yesenia's College on um Saturday. So. That would be dope. That's a good, a nice college place to go and just uh, to network and definitely like perform, you know. And I and you know I've booked these shows myself and then I have people oh, wow. friends that been the shows. I'm like try to have a show for you if you want if you and they'll email me the the just like how I met you. Yeah. Email me and let me know what's going on and I just come out there with like myself usually or like uh, two dudes three dudes not too many. Not too many. Yeah yeah. yeah you yeah. don't need too many. Yeah I'm looking at you. Like, who go run up please. <laughs> not like run up and yo if you yeah, yeah. chill out all y'all watch at home all the gangsters and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but run up and you know shake my hand don't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't how. Know. Uh, so is this your second album? Second, like second project. Se- second project. Second okay. project. I'll say second mm-hmm. project because I'm not selling them. Like right mm-hmm. now, I get you more. Need to be selling. Yeah, them. I, 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 I still, I sell We're singles. We're about to hear that soon. I like, sell singles. Yo, I sell mostly singles. Like yeah. I have singles on iTunes. Like I like, like the game is kind of hard for albums right now, especially for me. I'm not even like popular like that. Mm-hmm. But um, um, I feel like to sell an album. And all the money it takes into putting the album online for sale, mm-hmm. like I'll probably make out. I probably wouldn't make. It probably wouldn't. The ratio from making money and spending, it probably won't be the same. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So um, right now, I just put out the the free, free uh, tapes, free uh, free. I say tapes, mixtapes. I still mm-hmm. uh, mixtape game is still good for me. I like mm-hmm. that. So projects where it's not, it's no. Uh, what's it? No profit. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah, but like. 
like agree one of my yeah. other songs that's available on iTunes for a dollar and yeah. that's just to support me like I need gas or I need food or whatever yeah, just <laughs> please please uh, hey. <laughs> agree on iTunes right <laughs> now I'm looking grown. I agree. <laughs> <It's a camera laughs> <too right there. laughs> Y'all got the light. Hey, uh, but um, yeah. As far okay. as that goes, like um, yeah, I got two projects out, and then I have like a plethora of uh, features and features yeah, like features that. go up a lot. So when they hear my music, a rapper's like, "Yo, I need a singer." You know, you know, yeah, 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 every singer. Do that. Like, damn, you know how to sing. Every singer. Right, <laughs> and that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. And, I, yeah, and yo, and yeah. people don't understand that's part of the art. That's part of the art. And like some of the best prolific songs that you ever heard probably have a singer on it. Yeah. Like in rap. Um, and I and I and I, and I love doing features, man. And I don't charge that much. Just call me, email me. You know, let me yeah. know. You need we're, we're gonna put all of that information. Yeah. In. But you know what? I'm gonna hit this video because we got to see it, listen oh. to the music. It's yeah. hot. I love it. The visuals is hot. After that, we're going to put on that number. Call in. Don't be shy. Trevor is such a nice guy. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. She's, she's amazing for that. Trevor's you know, a really good guy. People don't you know call guys amazing these days. So yeah, you know what? They call them assholes. Ah, right, 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 right. Right, they do. They do. And, and, and we and I'm, I'm, I'm going to change that. All right. He's, he's, he's uh, supposed yeah. to get to change that. So, so this video, x Text, uh, filmed by Fire Beats. Uh, definitely uh, check this out. That it still hurts her I text her back Said I never meant to hurt her I just felt I needed time to myself Oh She texts and said I hope it all was worth it She texts me How's being by yourself working? Cause I've been alone myself I was in the street, I was fucking up your name I had girls on the low, I had the world, but I just did my thing hey, You deserve better, I can give you better, give me one more chance Wasting time, you just wanna right now. I just wanna do it right. Then we do it all day, and we can do it all night. Texting all on my phone, you fucking him out of spy. Cause I ain't never treat you right, but this time I do it right. You, you, you knew I need you, I need you right back. You knew I was fucking the bitches are coming right back. You, you, you knew you had my love, that's a fact You knew, you knew I was just coming right back My ex just texted me, said she trying to see me She got a new man and he trying to be me My ex just texted me, said she trying to see me She got a new man and he trying to be me Nah, no, girl, I'm that nigga, you know I'm the one and girl, when I get in your body, you know that I get it Make you bop, bop, bop like a gun Girl, I'm a problem, I'm so troublesome What he got on me, girl, I better none I win the game and he on level one I do you win when it's all said and done That's why you texting me all on my line New men that you get, they never provide Get in the V, girl, get in the ride You know I'm your trailer, you know we gon' slide I know you done loving it for boys I know you done loving it for boys I know what treated your heart like toys I'm hoping my loving it will survive Max text me
That was just Trevor right there. That was Trevor. Yeah. You know that video is hot. You know he was hot. <laughs> yeah. I got the lineup right now. Oh. oh I'm about to get that lineup right now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. So we got that line out calling real quick. You know, we're going to chat it up here a little bit. Trevor's about to tell us where we're about to find him. Trevor, where can we find you? Where can we stalk you? Oh, man. TrevorHolmes.com. Uh, Trevor Holmes on Instagram. Trevor Holmes on Twitter. Uh, I'm I'm always on TrevorHolmes.com. Mm -hmm. I'm always on Trevor Holmes on Instagram. My Facebook is uh, Trevor Holmes. Like... My mom spelled it that way. That's really my like birth name. Really? Yeah. It's, and I was gonna ask you that. Is that your like, it's my birth, birth name? My mom. My mom. So you were. This is a star name. Yeah. This is, I don't know. My mother. That's Trevor Holmes. Cause I, I take wrote it. With his clip. I wrote with it. You know, cause you know, my mother just didn't know how to spell Trevor. She don't want to be ill. Like she <laughs> don't want. She don't want to be truthful. You know what I'm saying? But that. But it really helped me out in life because yeah. it's just a conversation starter. It's just Trevor, or and then I'm already huge, so like, but I love the name, and I, I would just roll with it just because it's a different name anyway. Yeah. Right, Trevor, Trevor, Trevor Holmes. Trevor Holmes. But you know, everybody put the Trevor. Hi, Trevor. Trevor. And I'm just like, nah, it's Trevor. It's Trevor. You can say Trevor, but it's Trevor with a. Trevor. I like you that. Trevor. Know, that's a little side side swag to it. So yeah. you were born to have a little swag. You a little were born juice, to have a little, little sauce, so a little, little, little sauce, dripping. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> you know how to drip, man. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Why you got me so laughing, let's, let's get like a little off topic. Like, yeah. what, So what do you like to do? What's your favorite food? What's what? going on? Chicken. Like? Don't even. Uh, it's chicken, not because I'm black. What do you like to do? It's <laughs> not because I'm black. Chicken, man. You can't go wrong with Dude, chicken. Dude, you made me laugh the whole entire show. <laughs> I can't even. Chicken. Not because I'm black. Because black. Black people, everybody like chicken. My white friends, <laughs> my Asian friends, they just throw some teriyaki Ooh, on it. Oh, chicken broccoli. Okay, yeah. I like, I like, uh, Matt, I like, you know, all the stuff that's gonna kill you, uh, macaroni cheese and stuff <laughs> like that. But I like, uh, I've been eating healthy a little bit, you know. Got friends out here like Trev, yo, you need to, uh, you know, try this healthy stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, I like, I like to eat a lot of, uh, you know, vegetables and a lot of, uh, you know, sauteed little broccoli and stuff like that. Little mm -hmm. chicken, gotta add some chicken always. Okay. Right, you know, and uh, definitely drink water. <laughs> water, yeah, definitely. Definitely drink water, but yeah, but my, uh, you know, I like to eat that. I can cook a little bit. He can cook for myself. Y'all might not. This eat is it. like a dating profile, right? I'm just telling you what he can do, what he cannot do, might not, what he's expecting. Y'all might not get. Well, y'all might not eat it, <laughs> but I'd be hungry though. I'm a breakfast dude. I can cook breakfast. That's <laughs> breakfast, my favorite part. Breakfast is Come like on. it's really important. Hey, so listen, she, um, Trevor Holmes. He, like I said, this is the last episode of the season. I'm so happy he came through and Yo. blessed us with his beautiful soul because, honestly, Man. he really does. And he has a beautiful voice. Thank you. And awesome uh, talent, visuals. Thank you you got to go check him out. TrevorHolmes.com, everything. Yes. Trevor Holmes at Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, girls, there's, there's no address, but follow him around Cambridge and Boston. Yeah, and around, we, we ain't guess. throwing my ad. Ain't no real addresses. <laughs> no real address, I. Right? So, <laughs> thank you for Tune in or are you ready to be exposed? And next season, it'll be Exposed TV with your host, Casey Exposed. Check it. <laughs>